because nina um, ama na albino umeona yani watu waondoe hiyo fikra albino should be allowed to go to even model to be models umeona to work in big companies vilema wafanya wa, wa yani you know yeah yeah wabalishe tu hiyo fikra so kwamba wabaki pale pale okay mimi ni kilema okay amanyanyasa because mimi no nenda bele chukua hatua you failed it take it again take it again ivo mpaka utakamfaulu yeah that's how i want it let's get into that jitambo forum eh we are very glad kuwa na helen uh, na hii ni mahususi kwa sababu kuna vitu tunajifunza kutoka kwake Uh, haijalishi huko na hali gani haijalishi unafeli kiasi gani usijione kwamba uwezi chochote that's the message kutoka kwa Ellen haijalishi una mapungufu gani mwilini mwako akilini mwako au sehemu nyingine yoyote jaribu kutafakari uangalie uikubali hiyo hali alafu chukua hatua keep doing it hata kama una fail accept it and then try another positive side of it Anielewa? Umemuelewa Ellen? Dada zangu niwaambie kitu kimoja. Kama uko somewhere unasafa kupitia jambo lolote ama kitu kingine chochote. Haijalishi una tatizo sana la Ellen lakini una tatizo ambalo linakunyima uhuru wa kujiona mzuri katika jamii. Unakosea haya maisha ni ya kwako. No one is there to come hakutengenezee haku maisha. Ulizaliwa peke yako alafu siku ya kufa unakufa peke yako. So jua hata matatizo ya maisha ni yako peke yako. So unao wajibu wa kurekebisha hiyo hali. Hii hali yoyote uliyonayo isikufanye ukaona labda kwamba utafute umaarufu kwa nguvu ndo uwe ujiachie kwa mfano kwa wasichana kwamba useme labda kuwa na boyfriends wengi kuta comfort, right? Hau kuwa na kitu kingine chochote zaidi ya kujikubali kuta comfort. Issue ni kwamba jikubali. Endelea tuko bado tunaendelea kupata darasa kutoka kwa Ellen. Ellen asante sana unatoa darasa zuri zaidi. So uh, Here's the thing. Uh, baada ya kuwa umejua, umewaaddress hawa vijana wewe kama wewe, ni nini unataka kufanya kwenye maisha yako? Mimi um, I want to be a public speaker. And now you are doing a public public speaking, yeah. you know? Yeah. Of which kind? Ni namna gani unataka to inspire zaidi kwa sababu uh, MCs in public speakers, eh? Uh-huh na kuna wale wanaofanya inspirations pastors in public speakers i want to travel the world uh-huh. ila i want to empower youth yeah. to think otherwise yeah. to change their focus yeah. to motivate them to do better yeah. because wao wana kitu cha kucontribute kwenye community yeah. haijalishi ni cha kijinga lakini <coughs> wao naweza kukwenda na cha kijinga lakini in reality sio cha kijinga so like for me my main aim ni kwamba i want to empower youth ili focus wabadilishe focus ya kimili mwao kwamba they can do better things hajalishwa na upungufu gani they can do better things yeah and they qualify they qualify 100% to do better even better than the role models. Mm. Yeah. Who is your role model by the way? Mimi <laughs> sina. Um my role model was my dad. Yeah. Sorry. And yeah. So um my role model ni my parents. Okay. My brother, my sister, any I look up to them. Yeah. The way they just jinsi wana foundation maisha yeah. you know yeah. jinsi yani hizo success na za disikia kuhusu wao and everything yeah. yani they are my role model yeah. sina yani yule ex, external yani yeah. <laughs> mtu mkubwa lakini the my favorite person ambaye nampenda sana ni Oprah Winfrey okay yeah wajibu wako kwa vijana ni upi kwa sasa kwa vijana wengine wa Tanzania au kwa vijana um, dunia nzima. Mimi na che ni yani ambacho yani naweza ku comment au nikasema kwa vijana ni kwamba um 
but you should be careful. You can do better than the other one. Even you can do better than the best. You are the best. Okay, but you should be careful. You are the, yani the very best. We need people like you. We need you to rule the world. We, we need you to make new things, um, to advance our technology. We need you. So, Kwamba, we need this person, this person. No. We it's only you, you that the world is you. missing. Even though una, una pungufu flani, una, una pungufu flani, we need you. Say, you Elena, sorry. Elena, I'm going to say something else. Juzi kati wakati nasoma, mimi huwa tunasoma wenyewe. Wakati nimeingia YouTube, ya wanga, tuko ni, ni, ni among of those people ambao tunatumia YouTube vizuri. Wakati na, nasoma tekniki za kuwa presenter mzuri juzi kati kwenye YouTube, nilikumbana na mwali moja. Kitu ambacho aliniambia, ambacho anafundisha na ambacho alisema, ambacho nakiona na kinanipa nguvu kila siku ni kuamba dunia au msikilizaji yoyote yule anacho kimisi sauti ya mtu anayemisiwa ni wewe you understand so kijana mtiza, kijana kijana mwenzangu au mzee ama nani au mtu yote anaotizama hii hii program nikwambia kitu kimoja ambacho yeye ni pia anaksistiza haijalishi una mkono mmoja haijalishi una miku, hauna mikono yote haijalishi hauna miguu haijalishi hauna macho ili mradi una masikio haijalishi hauna nywele haijalishi una kansa haijalishi una ubwa kiasi gani Kinacho itajika duniani ni wewe. Yani wewe tu ndo dunia na kuitaji. The way you are. Hivo ndivo dunia na kuitaji. Uwezo mdogo na wana ni mdogo. Ndo uwa, uwa dunia na kuitaji. Chochoto unachofikiria kwamba hauna. Unajidanganya. Ndo hicho hicho dunia na itaji. Ndo maana mungu wakakupa. La maana ya wewe kuwa hapo ulipo. Kuna mtu unamtachi kwenye maisha yake. Tazamaji wa jitambwe forum, makala kama hizi sometimes, zinakuwa emotional sana kwa sababu tunafundisha na vijana, right? Hele ni tunarekea mwishoni. Lakini muulize ni mwambia jamaa ulize kwa sababu wa menyosha mkono. Hea, <laughs> ulize sali lako. Ok. Um, unajiona je bada miaka mitano jaya? Um, najiona nikiwa successful. Nikiwa mtu mkubwa. Um, nikiwa popular. Unajue. And najiona nikiwa nimeshika mic, nimesimama jukwa, nimevaa vizuri, nimevaa high heels, and na empower vijana. Kwa mba, wabadishe tu focus yao. Wabadishe tu mawaza yao. Okay. That's all. Kwa sabu. I don't care yani wewe ni muislamu ni mkristo but yani badilisha tu fikra yako that that's the only thing that I want people to change to change thank you so much mm. i'm going to ask you two questions ambazo mara nyingi ni common ni kwangu la mwisho swali langu la mwisho litakuwa ni la kufungia okay. ili la kwanza kabla ya kwenda la mwisho okay wewe ni kijana all right unajua design ya jamii tulionayo I'm oh. not going to talk about relationships. <laughs> Stop that mind. Okay. Wewe ni kijana. Alright. Umekuwa South Africa, but nzuri umesoma Tanzania. Yeah. Ukiona mind ya wenzetu nje, ni tofauti kabisa na hii ambayo tukonayo Tanzania. Ule ushapu, how they do things, jinsi wambavu wanajishugulisha. Unanielewa? Mm-hmm. So, na isu unakubali kabisa kwa mba bado vijana wa Tanzania tuko nyuma. Sindio? Tuko nyuma, eh? Okay. Unakubali kwa hilo? Ah, mimi, I just said, okay. Na zungumza, umepata experience ya maisha yote ya ujana ndani ya Tanzania na ujana na maisha ya South Africa, sindio? Mm-hmm. Ambako ndiko nasoma. Mm-hmm. Tunajamii ya vijana ambao unataka kuwa inspire. Mm-hmm. Wana mapungufu ya katika fikra na katika kufanya vitu. Ukilinganisha na vijana wakulo liko. Sindio? Wao wanachukua opportunities, wanachukua fursa, wanafanya vitu. Sindio? 